here. Okay, let's take a look at it. I'm just gonna have a little sit down. Feel sorry for myself. Oh, oh. Hey, come back! And we're live. Welcome back to part 66 of Free Roam Fridays, where we free roam with Arthur in chapter 3. We begin mid-action. Arthur is playing with some horses in West Elizabeth. And then we will go looking for the mean man with the Nakoda. We will not be successful, just so you know. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. No, no, wait! Hey, wait, where are you going? Arthur and the Brindle Thoroughbred are looking for a race, as stated earlier. Alright, girl. Hey, stop! No joy. However, this random door is interesting. Up now. All of this abandoned cargo and a loot box. We have some premium cigarettes, a miracle tonic, and a large jewelry bag. None of which we can collect because we have a tiny satchel. However, this loot box is interesting because it consistently respawns, pretty much since game release. And here is our exact location, south of Wallace Station and almost exactly between Valentine and Mount Shan. Let's move on. Still no joy on that mean racer. Yeah. Hi there, mister. And there is a grizzly over here. Looks like he found a fishy. Arthur decided to watch him for a bit. Easy! Not my business. He's having fun, enjoying some incredibly fresh sashimi. Oh, it looks like he noticed us. He's a girl, 
Arthur has the seed of an idea here. <laughs> And that idea is, can we lead this bear into Hanging Dog Ranch? Hey, you're okay, girl. This might work. And he lost interest. Come back, Mr. Bear. Let's fire a shot in his direction and get him to charge us. Okay, here we go. Easy. The horse is not happy. Okay. Yep. We need to switch to the Lancaster because the plan is to ride in there with that bear hot on our heels and then shoot our way out. Idiot. And watch the fun from a distance. And regrettably, he vanished. Like a gambler's lucky streak, to quote Cole Porter. Oh well, it was a brilliant idea and would have made a glorious video. Let's move on. All right, girl. Back home, we grabbed another deer. Recall that we are crafting the Legend of the East satchel with the bow. And then this Joker needed some assistance. Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. There you go. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I... I wish I could give you some money, or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jot on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of Rhodes, on the river. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. A bit of honor, however, a big Deadeye boost. Very handy. Be on your way, sir, and let that be a lesson to you. Arthur will expect you to straighten up and fly right. To quote Nat King Cole. And another deer. We will take the whole carcass. Call it a day there, girl. And this was an odd place for a badger. Never seen one here before, or rather, never noticed. I 
a poor badger pelt. Oh well. And the map. West of Matic Pond by the tracks. If you're having difficulty finding badgers, you can try here too. Moving on. Hey. A three-star Peter Rabbit. We shall try to go for a headshot with regular arrows. Got him. Also note how Arthur whistled for the horse to follow to get her off the tracks. And that three-star was downgraded to a two-star from our regular arrow. However, when we put him in our satchel, the buck antler trinket bumped him back up to three. And we unlocked Master Hunter 2. Easy, girl. Let's move on. For squirrels, we need small game arrows and a head shot. Perfection. We can break down the carcass in the satchel. And the map. The oil derrick is Arthur's favorite location for badgers. Here's one. Let's take a look with the binoculars to find out where his head is. Regular arrows and a headshot. Yep. Well done, Arthur. Mr. Pearson will be happy. And the map. Moving on. will be requiring poison arrows for the cougar and the panther, and perhaps the wolf. Yeah. 
and the recipe is at the Hobbit House. Arthur will inspect and make a quick sketch and write, Wonder who lived here. The recipe is around the corner in a loot box, along with some chewing tobacco. Do we have time to read the recipe? I think we do. Poisoned Arrows The true outdoorsman must be able to surmount all difficulties, whether saddling a wild horse, trenailing a raft, or dispatching wildlife or savages that pose a threat. In some cases, the firing of an arrow into a man or a large beast will only enrage them further and result in harm to your person. The ancient Greeks and Romans understood this and often coated projectiles with poisons. The Frontiersman's Requirements Arrow, Feather, Oleander Plant How to Prepare 1. Rub Oleander Plant carefully along the head of an arrow. Attach additional feather. 2. Store in Quiver 3. Carefully track usage. You should never eat game felled by a poisoned arrow. Not necessarily true, at least in this game. Looks like the devs abandoned this feature. Outdoorsman's tip. Keep your eyes skinned, your powder dry, and your knife sharp. Words to live by. And here is our exact location. Moving on, we do not need the dynamite arrow pamphlet, but then again, it's dynamite. Arthur cannot resist, and we will need to visit Wapiti. There is a loot box under this bridge, at the edge of the res. Also a large jewelry bag, which will not respawn. and the map. If we had time to read the poisoned arrow pamphlet, you can be certain we have time to read the dynamite arrow pamphlet. It's only fair. Dynamite arrows. 
Upon its invention 30 years ago, dynamite was soon realized as a safer alternative to nitroglycerin and black powder, of which improper handling resulted in the creation of more than a few widows. While useful in removing structures or fishing, oftentimes the target is out of range of a thrown piece of dynamite. Use this handy tip to increase its range and effectiveness. The Frontiersman's Requirements Arrow Dynamite Stick Large Feather How to Prepare 1. Take an arrow and attach a large feather. 2. Wrap securely to a dynamite stick with twine. 3. Store in quiver. And 4. Practice firing a few times, lest mishaps occur when it is needed most. Outdoorsman's Tip If concerned that fish or flesh is rancid, place a silver coin in it overnight. If it tarnishes, throw meat away. Back at Emerald Ranch, we need to pick up some dynamite. First, we shall craft some of those dynamite arrows and free up some space. And then we shall say hello to Seamus. Oh, hello, mister. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. Another one? Sure. Okay. That's you cool, girl. Between us now. Oh. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. We still need deer. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Well done, Arthur. And then Arthur had the bright idea to field test his new dynamite arrows at this convenient O'Driscoll camp. They won't mind.
guess it's my camp now. Arthur likes fire, however they might have friends, and we cannot use these dynamite arrows around horses. Think we'll be okay. The only disadvantage to dynamite arrows is we cannot loot bodies. A sentence I never thought I would say aloud. This one who was caught by the blast is okay. Oh well, let's move on. Come on, girl. Another deer, thank you. That should do us. Yeah. and a wild boar. Really wish we had a scope on this bow. Moving on to the next morning and Mr. Panther. We have our fancy new poison arrows and this time we shall just ride up and down the trail and see if we can lure him out. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Not as consistent as the cougar up north. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Arthur will take the shot. Yep. <laughs> and we got him. Well done, Arthur.
Here is our exact location. The moose is going for a swim and is chased by a single wolf. He will start running as soon as he reaches the shore. Poison arrows right between the eyes. Take care of that wolf so he doesn't bother us later. If he was a three star, Arthur would have let him come to the shore. Regrettably, the poison arrow did not drop him immediately. Arthur lost a bit of honor. We didn't move fast enough. No worries, a perfect moose hide. We need to get that pelt to the trappers. Avoiding this joker. And linger here, looking for a cougar. Yep. No luck today. Let's go visit the trappers. Welcome back, sir. Oh, what do you have for me? Okay, let's take a look at it. Note how those giant moose antlers remain in the satchel. Don't accidentally sell them. Mr. Pearson needs them for camp upgrades. Pleasure doing business. Much appreciated. Martin's my load. Moving on. Fast travel and we get this nice shot of Jeremy Gill waiting to talk to us. I assume this footage will vanish once we open up that quest. Let's put it on the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast related content, and our Discord. And back home, we need to check in with Mr. Pearson. And here's Sadie. How's Mrs. Adler doing on this fine evening at the new camp? Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. Okay, Mrs. Adler, good to know. Thanks for sharing. Sharing, sharing. Arthur. Good 
Could really use some good meat for this stew. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. We really should talk to Dutch and go fishing with him and Hosea at some point. However, Dutch can wait. Dutch will be fine. On Fridays we free roam. I'll see you in part 67. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast related content in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Yep. <laughs>